Bashing the government in this time of crisis won't do a lot. I believe that God has allowed this tragedy to happen for us to call upon Him and to establish a relationship with Him. frontliners cope up with this crisis using both faith and wisdom. Faith because we believe that God could keep us from harm brought about by coronavirus. Wisdom because it is our human responsibility to wear personal protective equipment, observe sanitary practices, and follow hospital protocols. However, Humanly speaking, I feel like this battle against COVID-19 really gives us that uncertainty of whether we're still safe or we're already carriers of infection, despite of the precautionary measures that we observe. Some of the nurses in our hospital were told to resign since the biggest threat for contamination is undeniably within us. However, there are also families who are very supportive of what we do because they know how much work should be done for the containment of this disease. Yet, we actually feel more concerned for our families who are too young or too old since their immune system might not withstand a virus and their bodies might find it hard to recuperate though God forbid that it should happen. The risk in this job always goes with us, even before COVID-19 pandemic has occurred. However, there is an ergonomic principle that we should embrace in the workplace, and that principle should grant us of our safety first before we deliver care to others. Sadly though, other people think that we should be suicidal over this matter because of the oath that we took but technically speaking we should not take care of others unless it is safe for us to do so that's why the governments and the private hospitals should heavily invest on personal protective equipment hazard pay and insurance for all healthcare workers because just like any other jobs it is our right to be protected and to live free from harm as well. That's why I'm very sad for those healthcare members who were being martyred against their will. As what somebody said, we actually do not wish to become heroes. We just simply want to do our work well. I can see that many Filipinos are very generous to healthcare workers in this time of crisis. There are private individuals, organizations, and businesses who give their donations in whatever form to our government and private hospitals, especially here in our city. Those donations make us feel that we are not alone in this battle, and we are highly valued and much loved. So, for that, we are very grateful. However, the biggest help that we need is for people to cooperate with the government by staying at home, observe social distancing, and of course, your prayers. Bashing the government in this time of crisis won't do a lot. I can see very unnecessary, toxic comments along the news feeds that do no good for the country and the frontliners. It only creates a social media pollution, which is the least that we need as of now. And I think that the biggest question is not just, what does the government do? But also, what should I do as a citizen of this republic? Prevention of COVID-19 is not just the job of the government, but rather of the entire community. And I hope that this pandemic makes us more realize the value of healthcare workers, especially the nurses in the Philippines. This is the best time that we grant them the compensation and the hazard pay that they deserve. And finally, my last message would be, 
for people to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that God has allowed this tragedy to happen for us to call upon Him and to establish a relationship with Him. Before the pandemic, we were so focused on our daily living, making money, and building ourselves that we have forgotten who our Maker is and what on earth are we here exactly for. God said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. God bless everyone and stay safe.